What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, I am not doing any card related content. I have some comic books in front of me as you can see. And I have finally gotten into the comic book game. I have been surrounded by these essentially my entire life. My dad's collected these his whole life and I've been to a couple of shows with him, seen him buy some comics. I've seen his collection and I have finally dipped my pinky toe in and I spent $13, 13 massive dollars on this 13 book lot. So a dollar per book, went to a card shop or not a card. Yeah, see, I'm used to cards. Went to a comic book shop and they had a sale. They had a bunch of dollar bins and I found all these comic books in there. So I'm going to go over them uh, and tell you guys why I bought them. I just think these are sick. I mean, the artwork is just beautiful on all of these. So yeah, let's get into it. So first two books I got here, we got Vision and Scarlet Witch. These are two different limited series, as you can see at the top. I didn't see this at the uh, when I bought them. They're both issue number two, but as you can see, they're two different years here. So you have one from 82 and one from 85. So three years apart, but bought these because I, I, I want to get into reading comics and learn more about the where the, the the marvel lore is coming from that is shown in the movies and tv shows but yeah i was a massive fan of wandavision so figured why not pick these up this is wandavision before wandavision even came out so yeah figured get those two and read them as read them along as i pick them up from wherever i could find them but the rest of these are have the similar similar theme to them and starting with this one, I thought this was an original Fantastic Four run book, but it's not. This is this is Marvel's Greatest Comics starring the Fantastic Four. I didn't realize that when I picked it up. I, I am not knowledgeable in comics just yet, but yeah, this is from 1978, issue number 77. I mean, the artwork is sick. I'm going to read all of these eventually, or yeah, read all of these eventually, but yeah, figured pick some cheap ones up to start reading and then build the collection from there and the rest of these books i did not mean to throw that down put that down nicely but the rest of these books are original fantastic run fantastic four from the original run these are all i guess early ish i mean they're all late 100s 200 300 era of the books. so yeah i have decided that i'm gonna go for the fantastic four as my main main collection I'm not really gonna. I'm not really worried about the condition. I just want to read them because I know there's a lot of there's. I think Fantastic Four comes out in 2025, the movie, and I assume they're gonna do a bunch of spinoffs on that. So I figured, let's learn about the lore before the movies come out and some of my favorite Marvel characters, superheroes, whatever you want to call them, have first appearances in Fantastic Four and the villain, my favorite villain of all time, Doctor Doom from fantastic four so yeah i figured why not pick some cheaper copies up to start reading like i said you can't condition isn't the best but who cares just getting them to read but we got issue 169 here none of these are crazy like i said they're all dollar books but yeah we got 180 i mean the artwork is just beautiful i will say the the the, the artwork that is coming out now is sick wait i think i have one over here hold on yeah, I found it. Books like this. I mean, the artwork is sick, but there's just something about this. This specific artwork that just looks clean. And it's just, they don't make books like, they don't make artwork like this anymore. I don't believe, but yeah. Also, this this book and the lot I have next to me will be a video coming out after this eventually. But yeah, we got that there. But anyway, get back to this. We got 180. We got 181. Got that thing, Human Torch. I mean, it's just sick, bro. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Holy. We have 183. So these are all from 77, it looks like. Yeah, so these are all from 77. Oh, it's just beautiful. I'm getting chills looking at it. We got 184. We have 187. I mean, you can see the condition. It's just not good. But it was a dollar. And, I mean it's it's 50 years old at this point almost 50 years old at this point and i mean you can't complain with a dollar book like this so yeah we got what did i say 187 there and then get moving a little long oh, oh never mind this is 199 a little writing up there on the book but dr doom on the front oh my god we got 199 
Got 199 here, and then this is where we get a little bigger of a jump. We go to 254 here. I have no idea who that is in the front, but I'm a, I'm gonna learn when I read it. I'm gonna learn when I read it. And then we have another massive jump. We go to 339 here with Thor on the front. So I guess Thor came into play. Thor versus Gladiator. <laughs> he says, "Hey, whose book is this anyway?" <laughs> Holy shit! This is from. Is there a date on this? So this is. 1990 is that 90 yes so we got 1990 here and then we have the last book in a lot we got 349 i mean that's just beautiful spider-man human torch ghost rider that is beautiful say what you want but that's just a beautiful cover that is just beautiful oh my god but yeah that is the lot that i picked up paid 13 dollars for these books Figured why not spend a little bit of money by there's all this these amount of books for for starting out and Fantastic Four is going to be my collection. So let me know what you guys think. If you're a comic book collector, let me know down below what you collect or read. I'm curious to see what kind of collectors we have here. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned until next video. Bye.